Welcome back to week 15 of Sip the Tatter Presents Ravens Roundup. Today we're going to just basically go through Lamar's five touchdown passes. Again, I think for the third time this year, Lamar threw five touchdown passes and coming to you today on this good third uh, Wednesday. I'm um, going to show you these five touchdown passes and, and go through them. So uh, let's get started. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. I hit the like button. And if you don't know, I get back to you as quickly as possible with the comments. So uh, feel free to comment. And... Um, just with the general questions, and I try to answer them either in the comment section or when I go live or in the next uh, video I do. So, um, you know, with that being said and all the logistics out the way, uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter too, Coach Avis9. And I also got my PayPal, Cash App, Patreon, all that stuff in there. But you'll see the Patreon commercial at the end of this video. Uh, so let's get right into it. First touchdown. Obviously, we had a rushing touchdown first with Mark Ingram. This is, uh, some of my patrons got to see me talk about this earlier, this one play right here. And I was just amazed at the footwork. I was really amazed at his footwork that you can see from the back. He wanted to run, he stopped, he slid up in the pocket, but he was outside the pocket. And then he, like, threw a side on pass to Boykin. This is Boykin right here. He has to come all the way across the screen. So right now he can't get outside because this dude did a good job of leveraging uh, the tight end to kind of force him back inside. So he's going to step up. He's going to step up in this gap right here. Okay, now I'm going to run because he got it tucked down the way he want to run. But he can't really run because 51's here. This guy's coming. So if he wanted to run, he really would have to get out the pocket here and hopefully 48 won't get to him. But that's a low chance of that happening. So now let me slide up. So you see how he just those two little shuffle steps to get his base back together? Got two little shuffle steps to get his, get his base back together. He was he was square to the goal line. Now let me turn so I can make a good throw. Get my feet around. Get my feet around. Get around some more. Now I'm not at a perfect. He's not at a perfect um, throwing angle because the way his body's lined up, the ball should be going there, with that front foot and that shoulder point that way. But he's dropping down side on and basically manipulating all these guys with his eyes. Cause Boykin is going there. This ball is going to look like it's coming to whoever this receiver is right here. I'm not really sure who it is. And it's just going to slide right behind this defender into Borkin's hands. And see, 46 thought it was going to that guy too. Look how he comes off. 46, watch 46 right here. Chasing Borkin, chasing Borkin. And now, the way the ball coming out, okay, I'm going to jump this. He thinks he's going to jump it from whoever this is, like, maybe Hollywood, I'm not sure. He think he gonna jump it and the ball just comes behind this guy. Great job of moving him with his eyes. He he, he had so many things to go right in his play form. He had good footwork. He had um they half ass rushed really, and he was able to you know make it work. But his his eye his eye movement is if that's what I'm looking for. It's crazy because he thinks the ball is coming here. He thinks the ball is coming here. And it ends up coming behind them to an open receiver. <laughs> it's a great job. Second touchdown, which was a call back after somebody reported eligible, but the refs say they didn't report eligible. So they made sure they reported eligible for this play and it <laughs> goes to the same guy. Making the run and you get a one on one Mark Andrews and a safety, I think. Just play big boy ball. Big boy, no little boy. Throw it up, let Mark get it. Let him body him out like a uh, power four. Box him out or hang on to the ball. That simple. Big boy, no little boy. And I think that touchdown, Mark Mark Andrews broke the um, record for touchdowns by a tight end in a season, I think. I think that's the record they gave him to on that. Just fundamental football. Nothing spectacular. Play action. Play action. He stepped down to act like he was going. This guy came to take the fullback. Um, they got to kind of respect Ingram on the play action. And he, run, you know, 46 goes with Andrews. So he technically he's covered. Technically. Let's see what the ball placement is. High. Could have been a little higher. And it's kind of behind a little bit. 
but it's where he can get to it and kind of use his body to shield him off, which is good by Andrews also. Touchdown number two. Let's move on to number three. Now we get into some of the throws that I really enjoyed. Perfect. Perfect pocket. Good base. Right on time. Put with touch on it. Over the top of people. But deep enough to where the safe well, not as deep enough where the other safety can't get there. What te technically I would like to see him throw Hollywood over here more. But still, Hollywood did a good job of going to get it and getting his feet down. Just saying, if he if Lamar throws this ball up here, it isn't that it isn't it isn't that close to the back of the end zone, and maybe the toe tap is not necessary. But still, good throw and good catch. Toe drag swag by uh, Hollywood. I'm telling you, this pocket was almost perfect. His delivery was perfect. One, two, three. Hitch. Get it out. Nobody close to him. Nobody close to him. Shoulders, feet, all in line. That we didn't see that a lot last year. With touch. A deep ball with touch. Nice. Nice. Another deep ball with touch. On time. Three step hitch and go. Three step hitch and release. Almost similar to the last play with his mechanics. Consistency. That's what you want in your mechanics. Consistency. That's what we got. This ball could have been a little bit deeper, but still. You know, I'm nitpicking if, if I'm complaining about, you know, how deep this ball is. This is, this is a good ball. And an uh, even better catch and route by. Let's look at the route by Roberts. Look at the route by Roberts. This is Seth right here. He's going to start in like he's going to work his way toward the middle and just shoot back up. Going to the middle. Bam. Stab. You're on top of him right now. Great catch. Great catch. And mechanics, you'll see it from his back view, is similar to that last throw to Hollywood. He's going to get his three steps. He's going to have his... Uh, his Hitch step, and he gonna you know kind of make sure what's going on. He gonna release it. See if we can stop it right before release. All in line, still. Let me see if I can go back one more frame. It's all in line, shoulder. It's all in line. He wasn't doing that last year. It was not. Drive through the ball, got touch on it, and depth on it. And I think I saw a next gen thing this morning before I went to work, but this was the longest. Pack, the longest ball that was in the air all week. Maybe I don't know if it was for a touchdown or not, but this was the longest pass that was like actually in the air. May not have been the longest touchdown pass because obviously you got run out the catch, but this is the longest pass that was in the air. I think it was like 47.5 on the next gen stats. I saw it on ESPN before I left work this morning. And then this um, this last one is some just similar, simple. I mean, pop it out to Ingram and let him do his thing. Nobody's covering him. Easy. Let him do his thing. Five touchdowns in the game. Again, for the third time. Which also made him the AFC Player of the Week again. If I'm not mistaken, for the fourth or fifth time. MVP. Just going to leave it at that. I'm going to end the saying. Lamar Jackson's our MVP. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip the Tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans, and again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip the Tally. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,